Good to have you join me. This is Quancha Nigeri, and for today, we're celebrating women. Now, it's about food, fun, and friendship. Friendship, basically, that's our focus. The Wow Initiative was put together just to, you know, reunite women with their health. Like I told you earlier on, wellness is very important in the life of a woman, and that is why they deemed it fit to have put this event together. There were lots of dignitaries in attendance, the likes of Senator Oluremi Tinubu, who happened to be the ex. First Lady of Lagos State and presently one of the senators in Lagos State. Now, there were different speeches from invited guests. The panelists had so much to say about women and wellness, but then let's take a look at Fremantle's speech at the Women and Wellness Event 2013. Crunch on Nigeria, keep it real. Have you join me? This is Seal Crunch on Nigeria, and for today, we're celebrating women. Now, it's about food, fun, and friendship. Friendship, basically, that's our focus. The Wow Initiative was put together just to, you know, reunite women with their health. Like I told you earlier on, wellness is very important in the life of a woman, and that is why they deemed it fit to have put this event together. There were lots of dignitaries in attendance, the likes of Senator Oluremi Tinubu, who happened to be the ex. First Lady of Lagos State and presently one of the senators in Lagos State. We caught up with her and we had a brief chat with her. This is what she had to say about her inspiration as a politician and what she thought about the WOW event. We now bring you Senator Oluremi Bolotinibu's interview. Now we're here with the ex-First Lady of Lagos State. She's actually, she's actually contributed so much to the Nigerian citizenry. It's good to have you here, Ma. Thank you. The speech was fantastic. We actually learned so much from you. But I want to ask you this one question, Ma. What has been your inspiration so far? I mean, you tend to inspire a lot of young people, tend to inspire a lot of women. The overall society. I'll be shocked because I know um, yours is not a religious culture, but God has been my inspiration. And it has kept me going over the years. And um, usually at times when I'm stressed, I like to spend a me time. And that's when I get, you know, together with my spirit. Because we're all spiritual beings. And just make sure I get there, you know, encourage myself. Then I'm ready to face the public. So that's one, one very last question, Matt. For the WOW event, it's actually been a very fantastic opportunity for women to get together. But from your own perspective, how do you think this would contribute to the Lagos and Nigerian society? That was why I commended the convener of um, WOW, uh, Mrs. Dagbari. She's done very, very well. And I think, I think women should bond together. We understand each other. Our makeup is the same. You know, our physical makeup, our needs are the same. So this is a good place for us to heal, mend, and keep going. And um, it's like um, getting wellness is about inside out. So if you're not well inside, there's no way you're outside to be nice. I think she's doing a fantastic job, and um, I'm here to just show my support. Six weeks ago, I had a hip replacement. A year ago, I had open back surgery. They said that I'd never walk again. That open back surgery, I now have two bolts in my back, a plate and an axle holding up my spine. But I was determined to prove the doctors wrong. So, <laughs> me being here in my high heel shoes is a statement for me, just for confirmation that anything that anyone says that you can't do, you can. If you put your mind to it, you can. At the age of four years old, I was extremely bullied at school, and I was told that I was ugly by other children, and I was told that I would never amount to anything. My years where I should be, you know, trying to enjoy myself as a young lady, but this self-fulfilling prophecy was in my head, and I, I heard it every single day, and I believed it. Then, unfortunately, I got involved in a major car accident. 
That accident left me with no hair and over 250 scars on my face and a near amputation of my left leg. And again, I was told I would never walk again. How do you overcome something like that? Obviously with lots of prayers and lots of right people in your life. So my message really is, no matter what anyone says to you, the more they say you can't, the more you should believe and understand that you can. Because I am a true epitome of what you can do when you put your mind to it, no matter how many things are thrown at you, no matter how many times, you have to believe in you. If you do not love you, do not expect anybody else to love you anymore. So, um, We are here to talk about WOW, which is Women on Wellness. And I hear Mrs. Dearberry saying she wants to include the men. But I'm begging you that just leave the women alone, do well for women, and you can do well for men. So that would be really nice, men on wellness. Because when we talk about wellness, despite it sounds very, quite funny, we are talking about the intimacy in a woman. And maybe we don't want to share our secrets with the men. So bringing the men in the room will be a little bit quite embarrassing. We might not be able to open up because we're talking about um, healthy lifestyle, how we package ourselves to be here. Like with me, she told me to talk about, I remember the first time you invited me, you said I should come and talk about myself. I said, well, I've been one of those who have been very lucky. Um, Auntie Ruth Banyamesia has known me a long time. Auntie Pat is here, Ereludo Sumo is here. And um, Dame Akogu is here. They've known me over the years. I've been one of those who have been very, very lucky. I was very skinny as a kid. And then now in my 50s, I remember Miss Erica said she's 50. I'm 53. So I'm always proud to tell people my age. So and now that I'm 50, I discovered that, you know, there are certain things I have to do right. And that's what I'm still struggling with. And to have uh, Miss... Mrs. Diagbari doing this and bringing women together where we can get help when we need help as we, you know, age. And I think last year's was age, uh, defining, define age. And I think that's what we are doing now. People are living longer. They are, you know, more healthier. Beautiful, admirable Senator Uluremi Bolatinubu. She's actually done so much in enhancing the wellness of women in different facets of life. On the other hand, it was not just about women. It was also about information and entertainment. The night was fun with different models exhibiting different creations. Adebayo Jones happens to be an international-based African designer. He flaunted his collections and pieces on the runway. Diamonds and girls, what is this about? That was the tag for Adebayo's collection. Let's now see Adebayo Jones' models on the runway at the WOW event 2013. It was fantastic. You're watching Crunch on IGZ. I love this show. Stop, stop. But beware when they start to descend. 
it's been a wholesome package i must say i had a wonderful and fantastic time out talking with you guys crunch happens to be the hottest entertainment show in africa when it comes to launch time and i do hope that it remains that way sure we're definitely going to be bringing you different packages every day lunch time from 12 to 2 p.m daily my name is Wafai samuel i'm especially saying thanks to sheraton hotels for putting this together yeah for contributing to putting this together sheraton thank you very much special thanks to rodizio restaurants and bar for also contributing to the success of this program thanks to the crew thanks to the people behind the cameras the people in front of the cameras thanks to everyone who's contributed immensely to making crunch a huge success i'll see you tomorrow keep it locked on your one untrusted name like cheesy that's how we do it. My name is Wolfie Samuel. Bye for now.